In this code demonstration, we're going to take a look at the eval and eval async functions provided by the AngularJS uh, framework. In order to make use of Angular, you have to reference it in your project. As you can see here, I'm referencing it from a popular CDN. You can also download a copy of Angular to your local environment and reference it from there as well. Now coming down here to our Angular application, basically all we have here is a button configured so that when we click the button, we execute this click me function right here. And then down here on the scope, we actually have a click me function defined. Now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of demonstrate the difference between uh, eval and eval async. The difference is subtle but important. So let's take a look at this event here. We're going to use the event object. We're going to do console.log. Say dollar sign event dot target dot inner text. And this is actually going to output the value here that we have for the content between these start and end tags for the button. So if we jump over to our web browser and reload our page, click on click me, we see that we output the value click me here to the console. Now what I want to do is I actually want to uh, reference this value uh, from, uh, from within the eval in eval async uh, functions. So I'm going to come down here and say dollar sign event or actually say uh, dollar sign scope dot dollar sign eval and we're going to say function and then inside of here we're going to do a console.log event target inner text and here we're just going to do eval so we can know that we're actually running this we're actually outputting this from the eval function itself all right and if we come in here and reload our page and we click on click me we'll see that we have eval click me which is what we would expect but now we're going to do this same thing but instead we're going to do it with eval async so now I'm going to come in here and change this to async we'll make this say async right here come back here reload our page click on click me as you can see we have the same values outputted now the next thing I want to do is actually modify the value of the inner text so I'm gonna grab that right there and then I'm gonna set equal to this I was clicked now what's gonna happen next might seem obvious but it's important to understand exactly what's going on here so we jump over to here and we reload this and I click on click me what are you gonna notice here we notice that the original value here is click me we see the new value displayed here in the button but notice when eval ran the value of the button was click me but when eval async ran the value of the button was I was clicked okay so basically we we output the initial value here then eval immediately ran here and outputted this value but then this command next was executed and then this was executed following this that's why we saw the updated output here now looking at this async word in the function a lot of folks would think that oh, okay this particular function must be being executed in a separate JavaScript task on the event loop just like maybe the callbacks from Ajax requests but that's not really what's going on here basically angular is executing this function and as part of executing this function it does actually execute dollar sign eval once this function is done being executed then as part of the digest loop process all of the asynchronous evaluations are then executed so they're not executed in a separate JavaScript task they're executed in the same task as this function here okay they're executed in the same task as this function here but they're delayed until after this function has finished executing and so in this function we're actually making some changes to the DOM and so those DOM changes are reflected and then this eval async executes grabbing the updated value from inner text so the key to eval async is this it's still executing within the same task as the eval function the difference is that it actually gets executed once this function here 
has completed being evaluated by the apply process.